guys welcome back to my channel my name is kaya for those of you that are new and viewing welcome today i am doing another wig review today's wig was brought to us from wiggins hair this is the unit that they provided for me to try for you guys today this one is a frontal unit it is a curly pattern i have washed this unit i've bleached the unit then i conditioned it with purple shampoo and let me just say that i really think i like aced this whole bleach process i'm gonna give y'all like a close-up of it it was just like it was just when i when i washed the bleach out i was like dang that looks good um so kudos to me for that so let me show you what the inside of the wig looks like so you see the frontal you see the elastic band that is included we love that and then it also has some adjustable straps on the back of it we have some combs so we got all our secure needs that we need inside of this wig so you guys what it looks like so that's like the bleach knots right but if you can really see this though like there's no black knots i did that i did that like learning to bleach it's a process honey it is a pro Sis, and I think I did pretty darn good. Put in some little goodies, some lashes, satin wrap cap, another elastic band for you to add into your wig, edge brush, a melt band. We love that. And a bag for you to store your wig in. Cute, love the beautiful red. Ooh, and they went down for their social media tags on the back, okay? And then, of course, wig caps. You can't go wrong with some more wig caps. So now that we got all that we need to install the wig, let me go ahead and take this wig off. I did a little um, ball cap. Ooh, because I don't ever do ball caps. Y'all know that. <laughs> if you are a consistent washer of my channel, you know that I don't, I don't do that. But we did it today. So what are, we, what are we thinking in terms of styling? Should I just keep it like a middle part? Should I do a side part? Should I just do like a free flow situation? I don't know. I think we should just work on getting it installed first. And you know another thing I really love about curly wigs is when you wear a curly wig, you don't really have to use a lot of heat in your hair. I feel like it's a little bit quicker. Like I think it would be an easier process to take it with you on like a trip or something because you have to do a bunch to the hair. Maybe like a little curling hair product if you catch my drift. But nothing like having hot comb, having your curling iron, your flat iron your small flat iron like it's just less work so this isn't fully dry on the inside so i'm gonna dry it some more yeah i could tell you're about to be that girl even the hairline looks good y'all and i mean i didn't do anything to it clearly but the hairline looks flawless i'm gonna cut the lace off first What? That looks freaking good.
installation is complete. What do we think? What do we think? I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. This is a very, very cute wig. I like that I didn't have to add any heat to the hair. All I did was add some mousse and we were good to go. The curls came nice and juicy. They look very, very healthy. They look very curly. Um, if you want, like I have some more oil sheen right here in front of me. Give it a little spray. It'll add a little bit of shine to your curls or you can use whatever curly hair product you you have honestly whatever is your favorite and it's going to give it that nice natural curl back in place and you never really lost this curl powder even with me like putting my heat through it with like the hot comb at the roots it's still good like even my roots are still wavy i like how it shapes the head i feel like it just kind of rounded perfectly i kind of shushed it a little bit to kind of get it into the shape that i wanted it to be in and it was good that lace did pretty pretty well i did have to go in and add some powder just to make sure it blended really into my skin and still giving just a little bit light even with me using a darker bronzer but I think it could just be like the amount of makeup <laughs> that I put on it sometimes you can add too much makeup to your lace and then it just kind of has a, a fit basically it's a little bit hidden with how the bangs are falling in my head and as I said earlier you know your girl did that with that um bleaching process honey like you don't see any knots that is for sure we love that and this is like besides the point but I don't know if this ever happens to y'all but you ever reapply a wig and the second time it applies so much better that is me 100% all day every day like I can put a wig on when I'm installing it for like a video or review and then I go back and wear that wig again a second time and it literally looks completely different melt it just looks so so much better so I don't know what that is but for some reason it always works out that way but anyways I thought I'd just throw that out there it had a little bit of shedding just a little bit here and there but um once I got finished with styling it like putting my hands through it and stuff there wasn't a lot of fallout from that even when I brushed it and combed it it wasn't a whole lot but it was very 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 minimal so no complaint fits my head good we're good to go over here you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section below leave your thoughts if you aren't already subscribed to my channel please do so I really appreciate it and if you are already subscribed thank y'all so much we are going to be at 20k one day one day soon i hope and i'm excited for it thank you guys so much for watching thank you wig and tear for sending over today's unit and i'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all